but there seems to be an acceleration of this sort of um, mediocreization. I don't know, is that a word? So I was uh, flying back to the UK from New York the other day. Um, and I was watching something on Disney. Um, and I was watching it and thinking, you know, this music is, is very mediocre. <laughs> um, and I was, it was disappointing. And then we get to the credits and I, I see that um, the composer is a friend of mine, um, someone who I know quite well. Uh, and just made me think a lot about what we're doing as composers. Um, since our hiatus um, of various strikes and COVID, the work is not the same. There is less of it about, and that's for sure. Um, uh, and there are less risks, it feels. Okay, my lighting has changed. <laughs> Uh, I'm being eaten by mosquitoes and the sun's not behaving. Um, it's supposed to be golden hour. Maybe I'm a bit early. Anyway, there's a sense that there's a lot of mediocrity out there. And um, I know that my composer friend who did this music is not mediocre. Um, this composer is very talented. Um, but what I've experienced lately is something that I'm so sure this person went through too, and that's the dilution of our efforts by various influences. And it's led to a sense, I think, that everything is just mediocre. I guess what I mean by that is we have a lot of people who now influence the end result. Their intentions aren't art artistic. Now, okay, I'm not naive, and obviously that's not a new concept that um, there's a sort of dumbing down of our culture of entertainment. But there seems to be an acceleration of this sort of um, mediocreization. I don't know, is that a word? Um, but there does seem to be an acceleration of this um, increasing mediocrity. And I think for me, seeing my friends work like that, um, it solidifies a concept that I think we need to be very um, intentional when it comes to the music we produce as composers. And if you're not writing honest music, uh, and by honest music, I mean music that is an honest representation of your artistic will. I think if you're not doing that consistently, then what is the point? Um, and of course, there is the aspect of the craft in which you as a jobbing composer makes music uh, for money uh, and there's nothing wrong with that of course however I th am thinking that now there is such a saturation of people who want to be composers for film TV that it's not enough to be good at doing a pastiche of Hans Zimmer it's not enough to be nice to work with it's not enough to be honest and loyal and hardworking um, and talented. I think you have to stand out. So now we have a lot of composers scoring films and it's their first film. It's a big film and it's their first film. And, you know, why is that? Um, if we look at something like Poor Things um, as one example that comes to, the, comes to mind, um, you know, uh, Joskin Fendrix, um, whatever you think of him, and his background. He uh, is just a musician who did his own thing. The director heard it, liked it, and wanted it. Um, okay, so I think that's the way. I really think that what we should be concentrating on is writing music that is honest, and that will attract the collaborators that you want to work with. As I said, I don't think it's enough anymore to be someone who's good to work with huh, and talented. I think you have to have that X factor. Maybe this has always been the way and I'm just naively uh, realizing it now, but um, it's the kind of thinking that I wasn't able to do pre the various hiatus uh, situations that we've been in um, because you're too busy and you you can't see the wood for the trees and you're just slamming out music. Life is too short. 
write the music you want to write. I think sometimes you have to make hard decisions about what kind of musician you want to be. And look, I'm only saying this because I know from experience, because I've made some decisions to, to score things that uh, have maybe not been good for my, my CV. I feel like I've learned this the hard way. So that's it for now. But actually, one more thing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider it. It's good to get an idea of the kind of people that are actually interested in what I say. So subscribing helps me um, work that out. Okay, thank you.